okay to say the entire pandemic. <laughs> I just wanted to be with my friends again. I just needed that socialization and I wasn't getting that. And then that's when I realized that, yeah, no, I need somebody to talk to. I think I'm pretty good when it comes to like talking to my friends about mental health. Aujourd'hui, c'est beaucoup plus simple puisque je suis capable de l'exprimer et de le nommer. Donc, mes relations ont vraiment, euh, se sont vraiment améliorées avec le temps, vu que j'ai fait plusieurs efforts euh, pour en venir à bout aujourd'hui. I really wanted to get a guideline in my mind um, of how to proceed when you see someone struggling. Once again, you never really know what's going to happen because every person is different. But when it comes to identifying what's going on and assisting wherever you can and referring the person to um, the services that they need, I think I'm pretty down pat for that. It did give me more information on how to like better handle talking to my friend to see what they're going through or like to help them with their mental health and also taught me like how to put boundaries up for myself but also like still be kind and there for my friends. When it came to the beater certificate, it was just more digestible, if that makes any sense, and a lot more user-friendly. So it didn't feel like I was actually completing a course. It was more so just me getting that extra knowledge that I need if I ever come across somebody who needs a little extra help. So it's super important for me to talk about the mental health, because I've lived with myself with certain difficulties. So I think it's important to be able to prove to people that they can become what they want, no matter what diagnosis they have. After I got my certification, I started to notice that people started gravitating naturally. People do really appreciate you knowing something um, about how to approach them and how to uh, see someone is um, in struggle and then connect them with the necessary resources.